I just have another quick video I want to share with you guys on how to unlock the bootloader for the Google Nexus 7 2013 second generation tablet or second version tablet. Now my tablet is the Wi-Fi only version. It's the 32 gig model and I'm currently running Android KitKat version 4.4.2 on my tablet. Now in my previous video I downloaded what's called the Android developer tools to a Windows 7 computer and also known as the ADT bundle and that includes the SDK manager and your platform tools that you'll need to communicate with your tablet. Um, to the PC. So real quick a recap on that, I went in here, I'll go into my user account here and I downloaded this ADT bundle here and I extracted it into another folder I created called ADT. So once you go into my ADT folder you'll see I extracted it and this is what was left over, the ADT bundle for Windows and once you go in here you have Eclipse, SDK and the SDK manager. So the SDK folder is where we're headed so you want to double click that and head in there um, in, in this one here you want to select platform tools double click that once you're in here now we're able to we're going to be able to utilize like ADB and fastboot and Android debug bridge so what you want to do in here is hold down your shift key on the keyboard and right click and come down and left click open command window here so that's going to bring up our command window here and I'll get that over in the middle of the screen here and what this has already got the directory set up and it's going to allow us to run some commands here to communicate with our tablet okay now if you guys haven't gotten this far I'm going to put a link in the top of this video you guys can click that link and go back and watch my whole video on how to download the Android developer toolkit and set that up so you can get this far here and have the command window up and running and you're ready to go on your PC and again when you guys need to flash like a factory image to your tablet this is going to be the manual way to do it you'll need to have all this stuff set up so you may want to go back and watch that other video um, my link at the top to get this far so once you're this far what we're going to do is unlock the bootloader and a couple things about the bootloader is when we what one thing you first want to know is make sure your tablet's charged right now make sure you got a good battery charger in your tablet and also before we do this make sure you back up your, your music your movies your pictures your data do that right now because when we unlock the bootloader that's gonna wipe everything out the other thing with this is it's possibly gonna void your warranty however there you know you can relock the bootloader if you ever have to send your device in for repair but a lot of people just unlock it so then they're able to flash custom systems custom ROMs and they can root their device whatever they want to do um, because you have to go through the whole process again of uh, you know like unlocking it and yeah and like I said when you unlock it the first time it wipes everything out it's gonna wipe everything out so if you relock it and unlock it again again it's gonna go through that whole process again you don't want to have to do that all the time okay so to get moving on here I'm gonna pause the video and I'm simply gonna get me off the picture down here and I'm gonna throw my tablet up so we can get moving with this and then we'll get on with the process here so I'll be right back okay so I'm back now and I have my tablet here on the screen and we're gonna go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do here is go ahead and we want to make sure your developer options are available so go into all apps on your tablet go ahead and select the settings app scroll all the way down to the bottom if you guys are down here at the bottom what you should see is between printing and about tablet it should say developer options um, if you don't see it just continue watching here I'm going to show you how to go in and enable that so we can turn on USB debugging mode so what you want to do here is select about tablet and then you're gonna get this menu here down here where it says build number what you want to do is click this about five to seven times until you get that pop-up down there and then you're gonna see it'll say you are now a developer that'll go away simply click the arrow down here to go back and then now if you scroll you know all the way down where you see about tablet right above it now you see developer options so now that they're available go ahead and select developer options and by default they're already turned on there so we just want to come down the list here and we want to find where it says USB debugging and there it says debug mode when USB is connected so go ahead and check mark that and then allow USB debugging of course yes we're gonna click OK so now we have USB debugging mode turned on now the next thing we want to do is connect your original USB cable to your computer to the computer here you're working on um, and then we're going to go ahead and plug that into the tablet and watch at the top I'm going to actually plug in the uh, USB cable here and then up here at the top you'll see it's going to you know give us a notification that we're getting connected so connected as a media device then it's going to change the USB debugging connected and you also get a prompt on the screen 
about the computer's RSA key fingerprint. So simply check mark that box there that says always allow from this computer. Um, it's just a series of random, it just keeps the two communicating and identifies the device. Um, go ahead and select OK. OK, now you guys may also at this point, you know, you want to leave your leave your device plugged in your USB cable and you may see some drivers installing if you guys haven't done so already and real quick we'll take a look at that go to your uh, my computer icon and right click on that and uh, click manage and then what you want to do is go to your device manager so down here in my device manager I have something called portable devices and you can see there's no errors here there's no yellow explanation marks all the drivers are installed and then if you click the arrow down you see my Nexus 7 so I know that's installed on there Google does have Google USB drivers for that um, to install manually if you guys can't get yours to install but I said at this point if your device is also trying to install drivers allow the drivers to install and make sure you get all that installed and another way to verify that you are uh, connected is go to your command window here and type in ADB devices you want to ADB space devices and then hit enter and there's my device attached I know that's the serial number to my tablet and I'll show you that in fast boot mode so now once you're at this window all you really need to do now is type in ADB you want to type in reboot or uh, ADB space reboot space bootloader hit enter see the tablet shuts off it's gonna boot into the bootloader into fast boot mode so there we're in fast boot mode and I'll show you real quick that at the bottom it says lock state locked okay and before we go any further if you guys can't do it from the command window like that from the desktop of the tablet I want to show you real quick don't don't do this right now just watch me do this I'm gonna power this tablet off but with your tablet powered off like this you can simply get right back into that bootloader by pressing the volume down key and holding it and then press and hold the power button press and hold those together and then you're right back in there so you can either access the the bootloader fast boot mode this way or you can do it like we did there by ADB reboot bootloader from the desktop of the tablet so that's just one way to help you guys out and again at the bottom you can see lock state locked so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna unlock the bootloader so just simply type in fast boot space OEM space unlock hit enter you're gonna see immediately on the tablet there's a little lock down there that kinda of shows like it's unlocked and then you can read where it says yes unlock unlock bootloader may void warranty so again please be aware of that and then of course you can see what's on the screen there unlock bootloader and then you know what it says if you unlock the bootloader you will be able to install custom operating system software on this phone I guess you know it thinks it's a phone but you know this is a tablet so they probably should have put like slash tablet in there or something but anyway anyway here at this point it says like no and yes down here you do want to unlock the bootloader so you, what you want to do is just vol where your volume up key is just press volume up to get the slider to move up to yes make sure you don't press the power button before you move it up or choose no but so select yes and then press your power button now to, to choose yes and then on the screen you're gonna see in the command window it is erasing user data and we are unlocking this device not too hard it's kinda simple um, not a big deal but does possibly void the warranty and then when this pops back up you can see lock state is unlocked at the very bottom there of the writing so now all we have to do is just um, choose start press the power button and you're gonna see a little lock right there that's actually unlocked it's hard to see it in the video but that's that little lock is unlocked and then you have the Google logo so you'll get an unlocked looking thing there and then you're gonna get Android here doing his thing and we should be rebooting back to the welcome screen at this point which we will wait here a minute and see what happens I'll see if I can focus the camera a little better so we should get our colors popping up here and there's the lock again down there at the bottom 
It's hard to see that it's actually locked. It looks locked, but it's not. It's actually unlocked. You guys will see it on your tablet when you do it. So now we should be getting back to our welcome screen shortly, and then I am going to pause the video and get us back up to the um, desktop on the tablet. Now, through this whole process, I never did unplug the USB cable, still plugged in. You know, I didn't exit out of the command prompt window or nothing like that. But I'll just wait till we get to our welcome screen. Now, I know it does take a few minutes here, so it's kind of normal. I mean, it shouldn't take really, really long. If it does, you'll probably have to go watch my other video. It shows you how to perform a hard reset. Just simply hold the power button in. If you're stuck on this screen that it's on right now, you just hold the power button until your tablet turns off, and then go watch my video, hard reset, my, my Nexus 7 hard reset video. Shows you how to reset the tablet. It doesn't matter if it, the bootloader is unlocked or locked. So there's the welcome screen. And what we're going to do now is I'm just going to type in over on the command prompt window here is exit. And I'm just going to exit out of that. And I'm probably going to unplug the tablet and get it back to the desktop. And then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now I am back um, to the desktop. As you can see, the default background's on there now. And the tablet basically is unlocked and it's back to the desktop. You can stop watching the video here because that's pretty much how you unlock your bootloader. Or you can keep watching and I'll show you how to relock your uh, bootloader. So what you want to do now is it's just like we did from the other part of the video on. Um, again, you have to go back in and I'll refocus here. Auto focus off. We have to get this manually focused so we can get closer. What we have to do is go back in here again. Since since I told you unlocking the bootloader wipes the tablet entirely out, you have to go back into your settings and you have to go through that process again. Of There's no developer options because it wiped all that out. So you have to go to about tablet, You know, double click the build. It's going to say yes, you are a developer. Simply click back. Now you're going to have your developer options. Go ahead and select those. Choose the USB debug mode. Um, tell it OK. And then close out of that. And now connect your USB cable. OK. And then you're going to get the same type of stuff popping up. Connect it as media, by USB de or media device USB debugging. Allow USB debug. Just tell it OK. You can also check the box there to allow all the time. And then, then click OK. I kind of did that a little bit too quick there, but that's, that's fine too. But um, now what you want to do on your screen here is, again, I closed out of the command window. So just, you know, I'm back in that folder into the, I'll start from the very beginning. I'll go into my user account and I'll go back into ADT, go through the ADT bundle, go to SDK, go to platform tools. Um, Hold the shift button. Hold the shift button uh, button down on your keyboard. Right click and choose Open Command Window here. Once you're in here, type in ADB space reboot space bootloader, and you're going to see us boot just like we did before. And we're doing this to show how to lock the bootloader again. So now I will get this up close. Let me uncheck the focus there, get us up a little closer. You can see that lock state is unlocked. Okay, so I simply wanna I simply wanna lock the bootloader. So all you have to do here is type in you wanna be on your I'll hold this up close so you guys can see it. Type in a uh, fast boot space OEM. Just type in the word lock 
Now if you watch the screen, it'll change to lock. Just hit enter. And there it locked. Okay? So that's it. Basically, you relock the bootloader. So now go ahead and click start. And you can see the lock went away down at the bottom. And you have your Google logo back. So there we go. We'll leave the tablet sit and we should be able to reboot. It should reboot back to the welcome screen and you're all set. So that's how you unlock and relock the bootloader on the Google Nexus 7. Or actually, I was wrong. I forgot. It doesn't actually go through and wipe the tablet out. It just simply goes back to okay. Simply goes back to the uh, desktop. So just to confirm that we're locked, well, we already saw that we're locked, so we're good. So that's how you relock the bootloader. It actually, relocking the bootloader does not wipe the tablet back out, only when we first unlock the bootloader. So not too bad there. All right, so that's pretty much that. And I'm going to exit out of the command window as soon as I get it selected, exit. And I'll close out of that. So let me pause the video and uh, get my me back on the video here, and uh, I'll finish the video up. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you uh, unlock the bootloader in the Google Nexus 7 2013 and how you relock it. So you can see when we first um, unlock the bootloader, it wipes everything out. And then when I, you, know, you let it boot all the way back up and you, you, know, you go through that process again and get back into fast boot mode, you can type in um, OEM lock, and that relocks it. And then the tablet simply reboots itself to the desktop. It does not go through like the whole entire format process. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope that helps some of you out. I hope you guys subscribe, like, or comment my channel. And be watching for my next video of how to do factory images. I'm going to show you how to restore your tablets. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one.